Hi, I'm Paul Kelly conducting a review on behalf of the Queensland State Emergency Service Volunteer Association Incorporated. Today I'm reviewing the Adelet L5 Intrinsically Safe Torch which has been supplied by Pack Fire Australia based at Yatla in South East Queensland. This torch is designed for environments where a safe torch is required, such as firefighting or operating around dangerous goods. This is not a general purpose torch or a duty torch. It is designed and intended to be used in the hand as a secondary torch or mounted to a helmet as a primary light source. This model, the L5, is a disposable battery version. It runs on four AAA alkaline batteries which are supplied in the box. There is a diagram on the rear of the torch which shows which way the batteries are to be inserted inside of the torch. The L5R is a rechargeable version of the same torch which comes with a 3.6 volt lithium ion battery and 12 volt charger. Also in the box is an instruction sheet printed in a number of languages which gives a rundown on the operation and to technical features. The instructions supplied with the L5 also covers the rechargeable version. Also supplied is a small lanyard which can be fitted to the base of the torch. This torch is rated to IP67 which means it is rated to offer protection from dust and solid matter larger than dust as well as withstand immersion in water up to a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes. The torch weighs 145 grams. The torch is just over 15 and a half centimeters long by 3.8 by 4.4 so it fits and sits comfortably in the hand with both ends exposed. The light source is a single LED described as a power LED which has a luminous flux of 135 lumens. Burn time, as with any torch, always depends on the mode it is operated in. High power is over four hours. Low power is over eight hours. The torch itself is made of high resistance thermoplastic resin. This means it is tough and will resist impacts, corrosion, as well as extreme temperatures the bezel is high visibility photoluminescent bezel, which means it glows in the dark after being exposed to light itself. As I said at the start, this is a smart torch and has a few features that aren't seen on normal torches. Inside there is a circuit board that controls all of the functions as well as communicates to a sensor on the base of the torch. The manual calls this the intelligent energy management sensor, which simplified is a light sensor that determines the level of ambient light in the environment and can as a result vary the intensity of the LED for the situation to make the batteries last a lot longer, up to 30 hours on the low setting. The other thing the torch does, when you turn it on it indicates how many hours of light are left. To switch it on press the menu button and it will blink one, two, three or four times indicating how many hours of light are left. So four blinks indicates at least four hours of light on high power. Once there is less than four hours it will blink three times and so on. The torch will flash when there is 15 minutes of power left before it is fully discharged, warning the operator to change the batteries or get to a safe area and change the light source. All of this technology relies on the circuit board and all parts of this torch can be purchased separately and are stocked by Pack Fire Australia. With the menu button, which is the power on and off button, there are only three options. One, on, high power, two, low power and three, off. From my perspective, this torch is suited to wet weather environments, it is well sealed and won't be affected in rain or storm damage response, and the light output will not blind your team members like some of the torches on the market. The strength of the light for nighttime searching isn't ideal, but it's not designed for that purpose. From a floodboat operator's perspective, the torch could be kept in an operator's pocket or tied to the PFD. If it ends up in the water, it is going to keep working with that 7 rating that it has for at least 30 minutes at a depth of a metre. All of the torches I review are tested and they're subjected to the same tests and ideally are tested on the same time as other torches I'm currently reviewing. So the environment and ambient light is the same. The Adelaide L5 was reviewed on the same night as the ASP Triad XT and Pelican 7600 rechargeable. The test comprises a visibility test at 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 and 300 metres. It also involves the vehicle approaching and where the torch is easily identifiable, one, in a traffic controller style operation with a wand attached and two, also where a person is trying to warn a motorist of a hazard by waving the torch light directly at the driver of the vehicle at the following speeds, 40, 60, 80 and 100 kilometres per hour. The Adelaide L5 was effective at a range of 50 metres and had some effectiveness at a range of 100 metres, however had no impact beyond that point which once again was to be expected. With a third party red traffic controller wand fitted to the bezel, the Adelaide L5 was effectively viewed 
by an approaching vehicle at speeds from 40 km per hour to 100 km per hour. The wand was picked up by the driver at significantly sufficient distance. This test is done on a rural road in a 100 km per hour zone and the torch was not tested in an urban environment with other light sources or traffic present. When used, just with the white light being shone at the motorist to warn of a hazard, once again the torch was effective and the light source could be seen from over 300 metres away. Once again, this test is done on the same road in a rural area, having only 135 lumen output, it is probable that in a busy urban environment the light may not be picked up in sufficient time. To test the torch's water resistance, it spent 50 minutes on the floor of a chlorinated swimming pool, whilst there were three swimmers in the pool. The torch was at a depth of 1.2 metres and was moved around over the floor of the pool from the percussion waves generated by the swimmers. The torch showed no signs of water penetration and was turned on for the duration of the test with the light being clearly visible from outside of the pool. In summary, this is a tough little torch. Its construction is strong, it has a great feature with the light sensor to change its intensity and conserve battery life. It is compact and can be attached to a helmet with a mounting kit as well as to clothing with the supplied lanyard. It tells you how much burn time you have remaining before you start your operations so you can prepare and change the batteries if needed. All parts are replaceable and it has withstood everything I have thrown at it. The photoluminescent bezel glows for a substantial period of time after you turn the torch off, which makes it very easy to locate before your eyes have adjusted to the dark.